taxes are not sexy. I get it. It's also not fun paying taxes. I get it too. But paying taxes is part of being an adult. I gotta do it too. If you're an employee, you're paying a lot of taxes too. Probably too much taxes even. Wanna know why? Wanna also know how to get it back? Stay tuned, because today we're gonna talk about income tax in Germany. What's up everyone? Welcome to a new video from Perfinex, the number one financial planner for expats living in Germany. We believe that financial education leads to financial success. That's why we upload easy to understand videos on all topics of personal finance every single week. And since there's no better time to take care of your financial future than right now, subscribe to our channel and reach out on WhatsApp if you have a personal question. We're here to help. Last week we talked about the piece of paper that defines how much income tax you have to pay. Your payslip. If you missed it, check right here. Otherwise, you might have trouble understanding what we're talking about today. Before we start, let me say that nobody here at Perfinex is a tax consultant. So the following is no tax advice and does not claim to be one either. Please seek help from a tax professional if you have any questions. Last week I told you that two factors determine how much income tax you have to pay to the German government. Your income, obviously, and your tax class. But wait, what's a tax class? Once you are employed here in Germany, you fall into one of six income tax classes, so the government knows how much of your salary they can deduct. That's right, the government deducts taxes directly from your payslip without you even getting it. That's German efficiency right there. The best income tax class is number three. You wanna get this class now? Not so fast, young man or woman. Your income tax class is primarily determined by your family status. Married couples have several options when choosing their income tax class. They can also change it. Unmarried employees have basically no choice. Unmarried people, separated employees, divorced and widows are automatically tax class 1. Income tax class 2 is for single parents. If you have a child, check also if you benefit from the child allowance on your payslip. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, check last week's video. Income tax class 4 is for married couples or registered partners with a similar income. But you can choose. Now income tax class 3 and 5 are interesting because they are counterparts of each other. If you and your spouse have incomes that differ a lot, the high earner should be income tax class 3, the best one, and the low earner should be income tax class 5, almost the worst one. Working in income tax class 5 is definitely not fun, because you are really paying a lot of taxes. But for the married couple as a union, it's the best. This works as long as your spouse lives in the EU, especially if one spouse does not work at all. Till death do us part. Should you get married now for the only reason that you can save taxes? Definitely not. But if you want to marry anyway, get married in December rather than in January. Because then you get the tax benefits for the whole year that's already behind you. If you marry in January, the potential tax benefits for the last year are gone. Thank me later. To complete our overview, income tax class 6 is for your second job or if you have several part-time jobs. That's the worst income tax class and if you earn money with income tax class 6, you definitely want to do a tax declaration. Do one anyway. Your income tax class is only a preliminary assessment. Doesn't mean that it's right. If it's not right, you are either paying too much taxes, that's not good, or too little taxes. That's not good either. Because as soon as Finanzamt finds out, you have to pay what you owe them. And trust me, they will find out. You know the saying that there's only two things in life that are guaranteed? It's death and even worse, taxes. So file your tax declaration even though it is annoying. I get it. 
but 9 out of 10 people get money back, on average 1000 euros. The second factor that determines how much income tax you have to pay is your income. The more you earn, the more income tax you have to pay. Our German Heinz Important has to pay three different kinds of taxes on his gross salary of 4,900 euro. Income tax, church tax and solidarity tax that amount to 550 euro. Let's look at these in detail. The income tax rate you have to pay is a fixed percentage of your income. Good news. Income up to 9,408 euro is completely tax free. Everything after that is taxed with a marginal income tax rate of at least 14%. So if you earn 9,409 euro in 2020, you have to pay how much taxes? 14 cent. 14% of the last euro you earn. Well, that was easy, hopefully. Calculating your actual income tax might be difficult, but stay with me. You have a marginal income tax rate that determines how the last euro you earn is taxed. So starting with 9409 euro, your income is taxed with 14%, rising very fast up to the 20% range. And from there, pretty steady to 42%, up to 270,501 euro where you have to pay a marginal income tax rate of 45% that remains unchanged after that. Here, out of every euro you earn, you have to give 45 cents to Finanzamt. That's the marginal income tax rate. That's not your income tax rate you're paying. Hmm? What? While the marginal income tax rate is the percentage the last euro of your income is taxed, your average income tax rate determines how much of your income you have to pay to Finanzamt. And it looks like this. Obviously, up to 9,408 euro, your average income tax rate is zero because nothing is taxed. With the rising marginal income tax rate, your average income tax rate is rising as well. And this line tells you how much of your income is really taxed. As an example, Heinz with his 4,902 euro gross salary earns 58,827 euro per year. With this income, his marginal income tax rate is 42%, but his average tax rate he is really paying is only 26.8%. But wait, there's more. At least if you are a member of the church like Heinz. Then you pay in Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg 8% of your income tax on top as church tax. So we can see that Heinz lives in the south of Germany. In all other 14 German states, you pay 9% in church tax. If you are not a big believer and don't like paying church taxes like me, you can just leave the church with one simple signature. That's one of five tips to increase your net while having the same growth. Wanna know the other four tips? Check this video. That's the good news. The bad news is, when you start paying church taxes and walk into a church, you will rise up in a ball of flames. Last but not least, Heinz is also paying 26 euros and 70 cents in solidarity tax that finances the German unification for 30 years now. That's 5.5% of his income tax added to his total tax bill. Good news is, our government decided to get rid of the solidarity tax in 2021. So you save some money without rising in a ball of flames. In fact, 90% of all of us paying solidarity tax right now shouldn't pay it next year anymore. So Heinz is getting a net salary increase of more than 320 euro per year. Congrats, Heinz! Hopefully, this video helped you in understanding how much taxes you actually have to pay. If you want to decrease your tax bill this year and all the years after that, let us know in the comments or text us on WhatsApp. I know how much you expats like to save taxes. And when you're happy, I'm happy too. 
See you next week when we talk about the second big deduction from your gross income, social security. Tune in and find out what you pay for, what coverage you get and where the social security kind of lets you leave hanging.